And you know, if you look at what we're doing in this country of Canada, we have 90 flights out of Australia to Abu Dhabi in a week. We have six out of Toronto. One third of those passengers are from Alberta that have to fly to Toronto and then fly from Toronto to Abu Dhabi. And believe me, that's a long trip. That's 15 hours. And you know why we don't have more flights? Well, because we don't want to open up our skies to other air companies or travel companies to move people to different parts of the world. Because we're afraid. Well, the Australians moved. And because of the 90 flights, they're getting their food products there. They're getting their technology there. And we're afraid to open up more flights out of, directly out of Alberta to Abu Dhabi. Because we might lose somewhere, some, some, you know, whether it be Air Canada or whoever. Well, quite frankly, Air Canada doesn't fly to Abu Dhabi. But these are the things that have to change. You know, the, this, it's, it's getting to the point that we've got to rethink the positions we've taken federally and provincially. And I think uh, the fact that we've now uh, partnered with, the, with uh, British Columbia in terms of removing some of the regulations that we've had for years, you know, if you're moving your wheat, whatever agricultural product by truck, you have to stop once on the, uh, on the Alberta side, get your brakes and your lights checked. You drive a few more miles to the BC side, the imaginary line, you've got to stop again. Well, that's probably $150. Who pays for it? You do, as the producer. So now the truck stops once. Is it a big saving? Well, if you take all of the trips every week, of course it's a big saving. Well, those are the little things. If you're a small company in Alberta, you're automatically registered in British Columbia. Now, why not? We're one country. You know, it's only eight years ago that the two governments, BC and Alberta, actually sat in the same table. Now we've got Saskatchewan. We'll see a Western economic strategy, one third of the population of Canada in the three provinces, and the ones that have the food and fiber and the energy that will be sought after in the world. So I, I, I just think that, uh, you know, with your help, with your input, there, there's so much opportunity. And rather than, uh, uh, you know, looking at each other and saying, well, you know, maybe you could do this better or that better, you're right, we can all improve. Let's sit at the same table and come through with a good, clear direction, future direction for the next generation. You know, I learned a lesson this, this year when uh, I was listening to people, they're saying, you know, our electricity consumption is dropping. Remember last March, uh, 09, when we had 40 degree, minus 40 degree temperatures? Not in all Alberta, but most of Alberta. And our consumption was 9,000 some odd megawatts. By December, when we had minus 55, but minus 30, right across the whole province, the consumption was 10,236 megawatts. When it's minus 55, you don't get power to the house 99% of the time. You've got to get it there 100% of the time. You know, there, there's, there's no, you're not going to turn the furnace down when it's minus 55. Certainly when it's hot, you can do something, open up the windows perhaps, and, and not rely as much on, on, on electricity. But we live in a different climate. And that's why when I talk about infrastructure, we need the most modern infrastructure in North America. And part of that is transmission. So ladies and gentlemen, I know that we have the, the tools to make our province even more successful. It's their people, it's our resources, and it's an unstoppable Alberta spirit. And it's time to put them in action. We've rolled out very clear goals, clear priorities in our throne speech. The first is to be in the best financial position of all jurisdictions, all provinces in the country of Canada. The second, most innovative and competitive economy in North America. The other very important to Albertans, best performing publicly funded health system in Canada, and of course, as I said before, the most modern infrastructure in North America. Those are the priorities that are going to position Alberta very well, and it's that spirit that we build around those priorities that will take us well into the future. And I know that uh, this federation has that spirit in spades, you're a strong, vital part of a provincial uh, community and provincial economy, and you play a vital role. I just look forward to working with you 
and continuing a productive relationship with the REA, as uh, our, our, all REAs as we move forward. Once again, thank you for allowing me to spend some time with you uh, this morning. Um, please enjoy the rest of the conference. From here, uh, we're off to uh, clear security in, uh, in Calgary uh, in order to get to Vancouver. Uh, for opening of, uh, of the uh, games tomorrow. And Ted, I don't know where you're sitting, but maybe we can get you to the Olympics to sing O Canada there. So all the very best. God bless. Thank you.